One of the most important features that Phonics Hero has is the reporting, as this is where you can see how your children are progressing, where their strengths lie and perhaps what their weaknesses are. And you can access the report cards through the left on reporting here. Now, you can either see your reports uh, as a whole class or you can look at them individually. So first, let me show you the class reports and use the drop down menus at the top here to navigate to what you want to look at. So in this instance, I want to look at my blue group, choose them in the drop down menu. And here's the report. So this is my class as an average. This is my blue group, their uh, score as an average. Now the way that the reporting is done is on a colour coding scheme. So green means that they've got it, they've mastered it, they can move on. Orange means that they've kind of got it but they could do with a bit more practice. And red means that they don't understand it and we need to go in with reinforcements. Um, we do recommend that all scores are green before they move on. So if you do notice any particular orange or red scores then that's where you would want them to go back and repeat those games um, until they get their score up to a green level. So you can use this to spot any patterns um, and to see where any weaknesses are that you need to work on with your class. So as a whole, let's look at my blue group. We can see, generally speaking, they're doing okay throughout part one, um, but it seems to be sentence reading in particular where it's their weak spot. You know, as a whole, they're obviously, this is their average score, so they must be performing they need, they need to do a little bit better on their sentences. So this is where you would use this to plan your next lessons. Is This is obviously where you need to focus on with them. Um, now, if you want to drill down and find out a little bit more information on that, what you can do is at the top, you use the next drop down menu to select the level. And this time you get a little bit more information by uh, each child and each skill within that level. So now we can see that Emma is actually doing quite okay until she gets the sentence reading, uh, whereas Pamela seems to be consistently weaker and that's someone you may then pick out um, that you need to give that little bit of extra help to. OK, to drill down even further, so we can obviously see that sentence reading is a weak spot for my class. Um, I would use the skill at the top um, and choose sentence reading and see what area of sentence reading it is that they're really struggling with. Um, now, in this instance, it seems to be just sentence reading as a whole, um, but sometimes you might see. So, for example, comprehension here, they've got particularly low scores. So it might be that particular area of sentence reading that they're really struggling with. OK, um, now if we were to look at the report as an individual student, let's click on an individual on the left here. And again, use the drop down menus at the top to navigate to who you want to see. So my blue group. And in this instance, I want to look at Lucas to see how he's getting on. Um, and you can see it looks very, very similar to the class reports and it works in the same way with the colours. Um, but this time these scores are just relevant to Lucas. It's not my whole class. Um, now we can look, see how he's getting on. And again, generally speaking, he's OK. But camera spelling and sentence reading, as we saw before, is quite a pattern. Um, are the areas that he needs to focus on. Now, if you use the drop, last drop down menu at the top here for level with an individual student, this time you get a lot more information. So you start to be able to see how many attempts he's had at a particular sound or skill um, and what score he's gotten for each of those attempts. Um, so it gives you a really in-depth insight into um, their phonics journey, essentially. So what you might hope to see is perhaps if they've been getting low scores on their first attempt, as they um, attempt it more often, their scores should be getting higher and eventually they've got their highest score at the last attempt. So that's what you would hope to see. Now, when you're reading these reports, what we recommend you do is look out for patterns rather than the anomalies. So if we're looking at Lucas's scores here within no, I mean, looking at that, he's pretty much getting 100 across the board um, and generally speaking, it's all green. But you do have a few odd orange scores here. Now, I wouldn't look at that and think that there was a problem because this could just be, um, like I said, an anomaly. So let's say, for example, when Lucas was playing this game with the t sound, um, perhaps he was uh, on a computer this time where he had to use a mouse um, rather than just using an iPad where he could just touch the answer. Or perhaps he suddenly had to play a game where he had to drag and drop something rather than just click it. Um, or perhaps he was playing at home and his little sister was being noisy and was distracting him. You know, there could be several things that could have 
uh, cause this lower score um, and it's a bit of an anomaly. So I would look at this and I would say actually he's doing just fine, he's getting greens across the board, this was obviously just a little blip. Okay, the parts where um, the time where you would think that there is a problem is where you see a consistently low score. So if we were to look at his reading on the right hand side here, we can see, yes, he was getting green to begin with. But then as he started to progress on, his score started to dip, particularly where he got to fast reading. That's where he's getting a consistently low score. So we can see from here that he tends to understand the concept of blending those sounds together. However, where it comes to automaticity um, and reading those words uh, at a good speed, that's where he seems to struggle. And that's the particular area that we need to focus on. So when you're looking at these report cards, like I said, just make sure you're focusing on the patterns that you can see emerging rather than those odd little anomalies such as the 67 on the left here. Now with your reports, you can export them just by clicking that blue button at the top there. It will export it into Excel so you can manipulate the data however you wish.